Hi, so uh, me and Jamie, me and Jamie's been doing a lot of work recently there. Um, out in a wee studio in Kirkstone. Yeah, Apex Studios. Studios. Run by Warren Hi, uh, some job himself. Um, but anyways, uh, I've been doing a wee bit of work for the Monday Club, doing bass lines and stuff for them. They're sort of up and coming at the minute, doing recording, and then did the Willow Ward Jackson sessions there as well. Indeed, we've done a couple of demos as well. Yeah, pass on to a couple of people. So yeah, you can get us, uh, you can hire us as a duo or individually if you want, and all the contact information for us is in the description of this video. Good stuff. same time that I got interested in drums so he was coming home from school and learning tunes and I was drumming along on, with him and just annoying him for like five years and uh, so we were just coming home from primary school and high school like every day and just playing all the time and all the time that's how I got into drums and then when I got to or I was around 13 I wanted to start taking more seriously started getting into bands and stuff and uh, First couple of bands aren't even really worth talking about, but I was in a local band called Lee Hoppy Oswald for about three years. And uh, we had two e we released two EPs and went on tour and stuff, so we did we did right, I suppose. And uh, but that sort of fell apart when I was seventeen. And uh, that's when Peter messaged me about uh Dallas the Birds. And I started getting into more genres of music rather than just the punk stuff that I've been playing before. Started getting more into like funk and jazz shows and stuff like that. Mm, I'm Peter, I play bass. Uh, started bass uh, a good few years ago. Started out um, at my old secondary school. Started guitar lessons with a mate of mine, uh, Matty Burke. And there was a funk band position in school uh, for Chunk of Funk. And he was better at guitar than me, so he got the position. Uh, but the bass player had left, so it was sort of like, right, you can play bass, you can play nothing. So I uh, got into bass that their way and then sort of just fell in love. How, how it went about. Um, then with the same people I've done the funk band with, I started uh, uh, my only funk band outside of school in the original band called Kev Hassa. Uh, it was brilliant crack, that's sort of where I learned all the techniques at. And then after that I came to RMI SRC, uh, met some pretty brilliant musicians and started out from there. started uh, a new band called Tap. And Tap was sort of just based around funk, blues and jazz. So I had that sort of knowledge side behind me and then got into music theory from then onwards uh, with the help of Tom Holland, Gardner. Um, but yeah, I kept that there up for a bit and then after the year was over, I sort of just sat down and thought, what am I actually going to do with myself? And uh, I got a message from Jack and Meg about doing Jealous of the Birds uh, and he wanted to sort of pull band with it, so I had to look for a drummer and a singer slash guitar player. So I, I was smoking about tack as I do and then one day we had to listen to all these demos together and there was one of the tracks, a track called Got Now and I was listening to the drums on it and I just couldn't picture who it was playing drums and then someone told me it was this fella called Jamie uh, and at that point I was like what, where's he been? First year time. 